She made a good interview. Yes. Hmm? Waiting for the interpreter. Mm -hmm. Channel four. Four. Channel four. Yeah, yeah. So, that's place. Okay. Ready? Ready. 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 Okay. <clears throat> well, first of all, dear friends, delighted to uh, host uh, Maris Kuczynski, the Prime Minister of Latvia, and uh, all his team and uh, uh, ministers and also the, uh, the technical staff and everybody who contributed to the um, very important uh, conclusion of the process of accession of Latvia today. Uh, let me say that it's, it's a historic occasion. Every time we uh, receive a new member, it is of enormous importance. And I would like to say for us today, uh, Prime Minister, it's a very great privilege, a great, a great honor, and uh, a moment of great expectation about the work going forward. Uh, Latvia has been reviewed by 21 technical committees since May 2013. So effectively, you have practically exactly three years since we started the process. Uh, there was a very rigorous uh, analysis of all of Latvia's uh, positions on the OECD's instruments. That has been itself a major uh, source of reform. And um, we've had uh, a multidimensional um, a reservoir of expertise that we have been exchanging and understanding what was the position in the case of Latvia, Latvia's experiences. I mentioned, by the way, in the plenary that there was one particular experience that strikes me always, which is that Latvia's GDP and economic drop in the crisis was uh, unprecedented and also uh, greater than any of the other um, countries, um, and certainly comparable countries, and that the rebound of Latvia was exemplary just the same. It was very fast, and it just, you know, uh, really uh, uh, was, um, I would say, unexpectedly, uh, um, the recovery was unexpectedly strong. And uh, the normalization, if we can call it that way, the normalization of Latvia's economic and social life came uh, very fast. Um, OECD membership is also a strong signal to uh, the financial sector, to investors, to, to uh, uh, bankers, to investment funds, uh, et cetera, uh, about the aspiration of Latvia to move towards um, uh, better practices and things like corporate governance, like... Uh, investment, competition, financial markets, public administration, etc. cetera. Um, so um, there's a number of laws that were amended um, to um, join some of the conventions and some of the um, uh, understandings and some of the, um, uh, you know, uh, joint collective instruments that constitute the manifestation of our 50-year uh, jobs on or research on, on best practices on a number of areas. Um, and uh, let me just uh, finish by saying, of course, now, today, we mark the end of the process of uh, the exchanges between Latvia and the OECD. All the experts, teams, all the groups that have all manifested, they sent a formal opinion to the Latvian authorities uh, and to me to say, okay, we're okay, we're finished. We recommend that uh, we uh, 
uh, invite Latvia for full membership, but also they all contain very detailed analysis and recommendations about what they suggest that could be uh, adopted and adapted by uh, Latvia uh, for best practices in their own field. So you have 21 different areas uh, where this dialogue, which has been so rich, has produced very good results. Now it's um, a process where we have been informed that the Prime Minister will take this to uh, the same uh, 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 imminently, and then it will be deposited with the French government, which is the, um, the um, repository of, um, of uh, our uh, convention. And then, of course, Latvia would effectively become uh, formally a full member. For practical purposes, it already is, and we welcome you, and we thank you, and we congratulate you. Please. Yeah, all this. <clears throat> Šī Latvijai ir vēsturiska diena, jo esam pievienojušies OECD, tādējādi oficiāli iekļaujoties 35 ekonomiski attīsti ir tā, ko valsts pūkā. Tas ir rezultāts daudz cilvēku darbam vairāku gadu garumā, un es pateicos visiem, kas piedalījās šajā procesā. Izmantojot iespēju, es gribu pateikties, arī Eiropas komisijas viceprezidentām Valdīm Dombrovskim, kur valdības laikā pirms vairākiem gadiem arī tika uzsākts šis gatavošanās process, kurš šodien ir noslēdzies. Bieži ir jautāts, kas tad notiks pēc tam, kad Latvija iestāsies OECD, ko mēs darīsim tālāk, kāds labums mums no tā būs. Es tikai varu atkārtot Ko esmu jau teicis, ka katra uzvara, un šī ir uzvara, ir tikai sākums jaunam darbām un jaunām iespējām. Vispirms ir jāteica, ka mums ir jāpabeidz OSD rekomendāciju ieviešanu, taču pats galvenais tikai mūsu pašu rokās ir tas, cik lielā mērā mēs spēsim izmantot dalību šajā pasaules attīstītāko valstu klubā. Dalības šeit nav pašmērķis, tas ir līdzeklis, ar kur palīdzību sekmēt mūsu Latvijas tavs semniecības attīstību. Iestājoties OSD, Latvija ir ieguvusi kvalitātes zīmi, kas lieti noderēs sarunās ar potenciāliem investoriem, sadarbības partneriem. Vienlaikus mēs nedrīkstam pieļaut, ka šī kvalitātes zīme varētu kļūt par formalitāti. Mēs jau 16. jūnijā ratificēsim saimā šodienas rezultātu. Mēs veidosim informatīvo ziņojumu un rīcības plānu savai darbībai un sadarbībai ar OSD. Mēs izveidosim savu sadarbību struktūru un... Mēs darīsim visu arī, lai paņemtu maksimāli to, ko mēs varam paņemt no šīs dalības organizācijā un izmantot to mūsu pašu iekšējām reformām, mūsu pašu vajadzībām, lai panāktu vispirms jau straujāku ekonomikas attīstību un tad, protams, arī to, ko šobrīd saka rekomendācijas vienkārši sabalans samazināt starpību starp dažādām cilvēku grupām arī ataugojuma ziņā. Paldies, esam gatavi gatavi darbam. Un ceram, ka jūs tāpēc vairs nepārstāsiet braukt uz Latviju, ka mēs esam iestājušies. On the contrary, we will visit you often. So, comments? Uh, microphone to ask questions. Here. Secretary General, uh, Latvian Television, Ilza Nagla. Secretary General, I have two questions. What are your recommendations to Latvian government what to do next? Or can they relax and take it easy now? And the other question? Uh, 
Following your recommendations, Latvia has reintroduced uh, supervisory boards for the uh, state-owned companies. Are they, in your opinion, really now f free from political influence, as you recommended? Well, first of all, um, <clears throat> Latvia knows better what to do next. What we do with Latvia is we help them. We never tell the Latvians what to do with Latvia. You know, they are somewhat more familiar to, with Latvia than we are. <laughs> However, what we do is help Latvia to decide on the best practices and the best policies by saying, look, we have analyzed your views on health, education, taxes, research, whatever. You say, and this is the way you look in comparison with all the other members of the OECD, or maybe even uh, other countries with which we work uh, uh, day to day. And then you say, well, it looks like I have some homework to do because there's always a gap. Something can be improved. Um, and how to get there. So we say, OK, these are the experiences. These are the elements. Then it becomes a policy decision a policy discussion, and that turns into a political. That part, we stop at the policy, the dialogue. Prime Minister takes over at the political. Huh? And then, if needs to be legislated, the Saima will take over, the political parties will be discussing. In the end, democracy is, uh, uh, as Winston Churchill used to say, uh, you know, uh, uh, the, the, the worst of all ways of government except for all the others. Huh? So uh, uh, it's, it's, democracy will produce its own uh, checks and balances. Democracy will produce its own better ways. You have to navigate. Uh, it depends on whether you have a, you know, a big uh, majority or whether you are, have a very fragmented uh, coalition. Uh, you know, all those things are, are part of life, and you know them better than I do. But what we do is, again, put in front of Latvia options and some recommendations as to what works better. You decide what you want to do. And when it comes to the state-owned enterprises, uh, let me just say that um, uh, we, we didn't, uh, uh, you know, uh, this was never something which uh, Latvia did because we were, you know, saying they should. Uh, there, are th there are moments, you know, remember the history, not so long history. Uh, this was perceived as a problem management, of lack of transparency, lack of integrity, etc. Little like uh, feuds, you know. Uh, and uh, so what happened? Uh, the government decided to centralize the control the, away with the boards. Okay, so that kind of cleansed the process and this is more directly, more accountability. Uh, each line minister had direct state-owned enterprise under their control and of course the prime minister would then have you know, full control of the process. So that was like a, a way to recover, you know, control of the process. And then what happened? After a time, you realize, okay, the situation is stable, but now you really have to give back to these enterprises their own governance and their own accountability. And also, because it's very heavy on the machinery of the state to be taking uh, every decision for them, or to be approving every decision. They need their own bodies. But then you mentioned something crucial. The process of selection in order to avoid the problems of the past. And the process of selection has been rigorous. We actually exchanged, again, best practices on some of the experiences. Uh, and to make sure that there are people who know about the issue, but who also are, do not have a conflict of interest, uh, are not, uh, for example, suppliers of the company or 
whatever, you know. But also who are who re good reputation and are independent. Well, uh, sometimes it's not so easy to find people with all those characteristics. And, uh, but it pays. It pays. It is, it just makes a whole difference. Uh, because after a while, what you have, we're not talking about privatization, not privatization. That's Latvia's decision. You know, what they want to privatize, what, but the operation has to be just sound. And uh, I think this is the way to get there. Thank you. I think we have time for one more question, perhaps. Okay. Okay. If not, well, thank you very much. Thank you. And again, thank you, Prime Minister. Hey. Eh? Very good. Now we're going to run to see the Indian minister. So where do we go to G room?